Welcome back to another episode of the Canon on the Boomer Bus channel. I'm your host Terry, and today we're talking about release the Snyder Cut, as they say. Hashtag. So, um, wanted to talk about this because it's a concept and topic that has been growing with a lot of uh, enthusiasm, I would say, recently. Of course, it started uh, way back when, when Justice League came out originally, um, taken over by Joss Whedon, and then the whole backlash of that this movie was terrible, didn't make a lot of money. And that the Snyder version would have been better. And then there started the whole release the Snyder Cut thing. So let me start by saying this. It's very, uh, I wouldn't say very simple. But if you want to break it down into simple terms, uh, think of it like this. This is a, a exercise in subjectivity. Everybody's going to come at it with a different angle. And so think of it like this. If somebody said, hey, that's a huge horse right there. And they that's what their statement was. And then somebody else came in and said, ah, oh, no, that horse is not huge. I've seen bigger horses than that. And another person came in and said, whoa, that horse is two times bigger than any horse I've ever seen. And so you got all these different opinions about how big this horse is. The horse is as big as it is. It is what it is. That's the fact. But the subjectivity of it is how people see it based off where they come from. And that's basically what we're talking about with the Snyder Cut. There is a Snyder Cut, but people have different definitions of what a Snyder Cut actually is. And so that is the main problem. There's people that are lost in this conversation of does a Snyder Cut exist? Does it not? And then... Somebody can say, no, one doesn't exist, but in their mind, they're thinking of a very different Snyder Cut than the other person arguing against them. And so it all comes down to subjectivity. It comes down to nuance. It comes down to how people are using the language. And the problem is when people don't know things or they have misinformation, they start adding context to it and they start adding their own narrative. Um, the person knows who I'm talking about, did this with me on the line discussion. And it's like, if you don't spell it out, or if they don't know what you're talking about, then they're just going to fill in the blanks with their own information. That's not true. And so what happens is you have people talking about a Snyder cut, um, as a fan that doesn't know what the cuts mean. Because there's actually a number of different cuts. That's just factually how it works in, you know, film. And so when people say the Snyder cut, it's like, well, which cut do you mean? There's a, there's a lot of cuts. And it became clear that some people that were very loud about it were talking about a movie, like a, a clean cut movie that's ready to be in the theaters like hey we made a, a snyder version of the movie and we made a whedon version of the movie and that's not true and so the cut comes from the fan terminology of director's cut when they're thinking of a dvd or you know a blu-ray special where oh we get an extended edition or we get a different uh version that's the director's cut. And that's where a lot of people are talking about. But when in reality, that's not what Zack Snyder's talking about. That's not what Jason Momoa or any of these other people are talking about. They're talking about a cut that's unfinished. We're talking about there's no special effects. We're talking about there's no music uh, scored to the uh, sound or, you know, soundtrack scored to the um, movie. There's no color correction. There's no editing. Uh, that's what we're talking about. Well, no editing, but you know what I mean? So it's not ready to be shown in the theater. And so as actors, as directors, as producers, music composers, writers they understand that when they say snyder cut they're talking about a movie that's not complete 
But the fans don't understand that. A lot of casual fans just think, oh, a cut means you have a whole movie ready. And that's not the case. And so that's where a lot of this misinformation comes from. And honestly, Zack Snyder, I would guess, I'm not going to say it's factual, but I would guess Zack Snyder and all these people know that. And they're just using this as a, you know, fever pitch to uh, stay relevant and keep the conversation going and eventually maybe get money to pay for it. Because at the end of the day, if you say, well, okay, I understand what you're saying, Terry, but what's stopping them from finishing the movie is money. It costs a lot of money to do visual effects. It costs a lot of money to pay people to edit and do all these other things. And the movies already came out in theaters. It made what it's going to make. It didn't make a lot of money. And then on top of that, if you finish it, it's not going into theaters because it costs money to put it into theaters. And if you put it online somewhere, what makes a company believe they're going to make more money than they're going to spend to finish it? Because we're talking about millions of dollars to finish this project. And so the information is out there. I mean, uh, Warner Brothers themselves came out and said, like, yes, there is an edited version by Zack Snyder that's incomplete and that it would cost millions of dollars to finish it. And we don't have any interest in doing that right now. And so, again, it's a lot of people talking about the exact same horse, but they coming at it at different perspectives. Because the Zack or the Snyder cut, it exists for some people, not for other people. For people that think it's an actual movie that's completed, it does not exist. For people like Zack that are talking about we got an edited version, we got footage that you didn't see, we got my vision of it, but it needs to be completed. Yes, that does exist, but no one's going to pay to see that. No matter what you think, no one's going to pay to see a bunch of green screen and uh, incomplete effects and a bunch of 3D models on screen. You might think, oh, yeah, that's going to be great until you realize how much work goes into these movies. And so um, understanding that, you got to realize that this whole release the Snyder Cut is a campaign and effort to get money to actually complete the movie version that Snyder wants. And that's fine. If we could all understand that, that's fine. But there's too many people that don't understand that. They're like, oh, whoa, Jason Momoa said he saw the movie. Oh, Gal Gadot said she saw the movie. Oh, this writer said that he saw the movie. And it's like they didn't see the movie in the way you're used to. They saw the movie in the way uh, professionals are used to seeing certain cuts of it, but it was never finished. It's just an unfinished movie. And so uh, a lot of people go back and forth. A lot of people are blaming like other people about it. But look, at the end of the day, if you're talking about solid business, there's nothing to blame Warner Brothers for. Um if there's a different story about Zack Snyder and how he exited the project, we could talk about that. Um, but as far as he said and they said publicly, it was a mutual thing because of family tragedy and they brought in Josh Whedon. And that's what we got to go by because that's the only thing that we know they said is true. And if it's something different, we could have that conversation. But for the most part, if you're talking about making the best decision you can, and the movie not doing well, and you also not putting extra money into the Snyder Cut, I'm not going to blame Warner Brothers for saying no to that. And obviously, if Snyder had the money or anybody else did, it would have been done already. Um, But that doesn't mean they can release it, because the rights are owned by Warner Brothers. And so... I don't think you're talking about um, Snyder putting up millions of his own money to uh, create the rest of this movie. I don't think anybody else is talking about putting up millions of dollars to create the rest of this movie. But the fact is, even if they did, then Warner Brothers 
still has the rights to it and doesn't mean they can release it. So all this release the Snyder cut, it, it means nothing at the end of the day, because what are you talking about releasing? Are you talking about releasing an unedited or sorry, an unfinished edited version by Zack Snyder? They could do that. Where would they do that? And what would they get out of it? Absolutely nothing. And they could. You know what? 100%. If you're talking about literally release the Snyder Cut as is, they could do it. And it would mean nothing. But if you're talking about actually completing a version of the Snyder Cut and releasing it, where would they release it? How would they get their money back? What makes sense for them to invest their money into it would be the question. So anyway, that's it for me. Uh, Go ahead to the comment section. Let me know what you think about the whole Snyder Cut conversation. Share it around. Get the conversation started. Thumbs up, subscribe. And remember, if you heard it here, it's official canon.